It's a nice day to go out into the middle of the ocean and find ourselves a man, a man of Medan. Remember, it's we go, we're going out because we're going to dive, try to find this crashed plane that no one knows about, and we're not going to report to the government, and we're going to go there, we're going to loot it, it's going to be great, there'll be no consequences. What a wonderful trip this is going to be. But we're not going to play it like we did the last time, of course, because we have a curator's cut that we need to do. This one. Don't know what it means about there being an alternate path, but we're going to try it. So, last time, of course, we finished theatrical cut, and all of our characters got out alive. Uh, all of my charges, anyway, as the curator calls them. The pirates, not so lucky, but... My, you know, the people I was responsible for were, were alive at the end. I don't know what Curator's Cut is going to be. What I do know is that I'm going to try to make the opposite decisions of everything I was doing the first time around. And see what good things might happen because of that. Let's, uh, let's get started with this Curator's. I don't know if that's, this means alternate scenes or um, different QTEs. I don't really know what it means. But... This is starting off the same way as it did last time. Of course, we are going to be loading up the coffins on the boat. And we, na we now know what is in those coffins. It's actually drugs. They're full of drugs. And just by a freak accident, the drug coffins get struck by lightning. And then they ooze. Their green ooze gets out into the cargo hold and then the it turns into gas. That gets through the vents of the Medan, and uh, everyone breathes it in and hallucinates. And some people die from from fright. Other people just kill each other. But everyone ends up dead, regardless. It's a secret mission, of course. So they put these coffins in the cargo hold, but they're not actually holding dead bodies, apparently. Or maybe the dead maybe there are dead bodies, but they're just red herrings. Maybe the dead bodies are stuffed with drugs. All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Better mosey. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend. You know, it occurs to me we did see a note before that said that anyone who returns to the you ship drunk would be court-martialed. Can I? They don't seem very concerned about that. Give me a quarter. Maybe they didn't read the memo. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's find out. Heck yeah, I can fight. Oh, we're, see we're seeing him. Well, I don't think he's a very good fighter. Honestly. Uh, 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 uh. I can't hit anything else. Alright, I'll hit it. Uh, will things get switched up? It's basically the same the same thing as before, it's just that we're a different person. Eh, yeah, well, maybe he can't fight. Oh. I thought it was going to lay him out. How did the robot know that uh, he won? Okay, pal. Spread some of that good fortune around. Sure, but I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. You, uh, you got another quarter on you? What do I look like? A bank? Yeah, two quarters. Okay, old timer. Do I look made of, like I'm made of quarters? Um, will Joe return those quarters? You think old Joe will ever make good on that 50 cents I just invested in him? I need to see my future to find out. It's very important. Um, let's go with some water. I like how they're doing the thing where everyone is speaking their own language and everyone understands each other. 
What we got? Well, that is a flower of some sort. The flowers are pretty. It's probably a good thing. Oh, you're always talking about evil and death. Evil? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Golly! Hey, buddy, what the hell are you talking about? I just wanted to know if he was going to return my 50 cents. Hey, we should probably make our way back to the ship. Don't want to be the Joker's left uh, come behind. Come on, I just need one more try at this hey, sucker. We gotta get back. Like now. No, can canonically, according to our playthrough, he he completed the robot game. He hit it. He got all the targets. He won that. He, he didn't lose that one. So this is clearly a non-canon run. Oh yeah, that's right. These are the boxes with the drug in it, not the uh, ones with the flag draped across them. So okay, difference between the coffins with the American flag on it and the coffins with the skull and crossbones. These are the drug coffins. Do not open the drug coffins. Do not even look at the drug. Do not stare at the drug coffins. Do not annoy them. Do not smoke around the drug coffins. Hey, man. Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? See, I think that... I think that Charlie's a bit unreasonable here, expecting that Joe has the 50 cents Nobody. since they just got back to the ship. And Joe clearly did not have the 50 cents before. How, why would he have it now? In my medical opinion, these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig and keep it there. Little did they know that the sick bay in the brig would be the safest places on the ship. And so they went off on their secret path, their secret route through the ocean. Because they were on a secret mission, they had to not... People couldn't know where the ship was. And so, I mean, that happened. Probably would have been better if they just took the actual course they were supposed to take. And they wouldn't have gone through the lightning storm and, you know, this wouldn't have happened. It's a freak accident. No one could have predicted this. Okay, yeah, so then the drug gas gets into the room with the American flag coffins. I mean, it just kind of gets everywhere. Ah, my 50 cents. Still in the brig. They really look, they really look down upon reporting back to duty drunk. Hey? Hello? Anyone there? I believe we've read this before. Ten? What a dick. Did we not know that we were here for ten days? It does seem, uh, excessive. Well, we didn't open this. Was there anything around that could have told us how to open it? Why would there be a safe in the brig? Brig 10 days. Prove those 10 days. 
did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. We weren't. We really weren't that drunk. We were a little drunk, but it doesn't seem like we were so drunk that it really justified this. Anyway, here's some blood. It looks fresh. I don't know how it would be in here because we're locked in here. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a. Uh... A corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Something just might be wrong with this ship. Let's just go back the way he came. It doesn't seem like we can go through that door. All right, I guess there's not, no, no, hold on, there's an open door right there. There, okay, that's the sick bay. There you go. We want to take a look at this corpse for ourselves. Yep, that's a corpse. Mm-hmm. Pretty certain. Mm-hmm. That's a boy. Pretty certain about that. I don't, this doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. I guess we didn't actually need to come back. Let me just think about, oh, would, would maybe Charlie have any observations about what's going on? No, I guess he didn't. I guess he didn't. Yep, Joe, I just came back. It, you're, you're right. There was a corpse. You were 100% right about... <laughs> Gotta keep calm. Well, we know Joe can keep calm. He's good at keeping calm. I... Charlie, not so much. Charlie, did you did you not keep your heart rate under control? It was beating way too fast, and he heard it. He heard it going boom, boom. He could have opened fire on us, Charlie. And how were you going to get your 50 cents back if that happened? think that we couldn't open this? Is that right? Oh, no, no. we That's true. The two of us do open this. And there's a surprise behind the door. Oh, actually, maybe we're too weak. We just can't seem to do it. Ugh. Man, it's been a day, right? This is the one I guess we can't open. The lock is broken. We can't open this door. All right, let's open it. I still disagree with that. We can recognize him. Can we uh, poke at him? No, nah, it doesn't seem like we can. Buckley. 
Last time I saw him, he was fine. I mean, he was even jonesing for extra security detail. <laughs> At least it's not one of us. It looks like Buckley uh, got scared to death because he has no wounds on him. So I guess the gas can induce uh, a heart attack and kill you through that. Because that's how uh, that's how Olsen dies, I believe. He just gets too worked up, and then you just just conks out. I mean, game. I, it's not really walking faster. It's like this is normal walking. This is LB. It's like 0.01% faster. I'm not sure why they even implemented it. So, uh... Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Yeah. You look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. What I do like to talk about is how there's 50 cents missing from my pocket. Joe... It would make my feelings feel real good if I could get my 50 cents back, Joe. Hey, Joe? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? A kid? On the, on the ship? On the Medan? Come on. Why would there be such a thing? You might also ask why are there so many dead bodies around, and that shouldn't be the case either. Joe, get over here! Hard cut, as we as does happen sometimes in Man of Medan. Just had to go from one scene to the next, regardless of how that looked. Let's see what he says. Well, no children in here. Oh, hello. Uh, what if I don't? Look, he's very sensitive about his skin condition. You don't have to just drop dead from looking at it. It's very rude. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! <laughs> There is something I'm kind of curious about this part right here. So that guy, right? By the door? Did he just run off of that or did he did something throw him? Cuz it kind of looks like someone throws him. 
But we know there's no one there to throw him. Maybe he just ran. So if you if you haven't played Until Dawn, the intro the the theme to that game also began with a singer saying "Oh death." So that's sort of that seems like it's going to be sort of a a consistent thing in the dark pictures, I guess. This is still a good entrance. The curator busting through the doors as this mid two thousands era anthem plays. By God, King, that Titantron, this music, it's the curator. He's come down, coming down the aisle with the money in the bank briefcase. He's cashing it in. Of course, the curator would wear this full clothing down to the ring. And it would be, you know, it would be designed so he could just whip it off. I'm still not sure why Sadako was in the credits here. Ah, you're back. Interesting. Oh, he knows. Excuse me a moment. You've heard, I suppose, that there's been an adjustment. It's a one door closes, another opens sort of thing. Yes, the story's been told, but the truth of that story isn't fixed. Far from it. You see, a story can change a great deal when told from a uh, different perspective. A chance to turn back the clock, walk in different shoes, make fresh choices. Mm, bad choices, specifically. Perhaps take a few risks this time. Raise a little hell. You know, do something stupid. It would be cool if, um, when the next Dark Pictures comes out, if you've played this one, it would be cool if the curator would acknowledge that. That you had played, that you have gone through this one and re make reference to it in the next one. Is he insecure? I didn't really get that from Alex. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Of course. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. So I gotta do what you tell yep. me? Yep. So you're like my boss? Kinda, yeah. You gonna pay me? <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro. Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Worrying about the value of things isn't cool, little bro. The best around new people. 
whatever. Just shut up. Uh, loosen up. Yeah, sure. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Yeah, that's right. We're going to propose this time. Hey! Big smile. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> well, I mean, if we make the right choices, possibly. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Wanna crack the colon with Every second. Every second. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Way less needy. <laughs> so, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time. I promised Brad. Ah, uh, damn, Julia. I meant to tell you. What? I kind of told Brad I'd take him on the first dive. Brother thing, you know? Really? Alex? You promised. I... You know what? Fine. Whatever. <sighs> Look, brother promises trump every other kind of promise. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... Yep, getting drunk already on your boat. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Still don't know what he's talking about there. So Brad did drink the beer this time. We didn't get that choice. That's it. Get it all out. We were playing Alex. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see those hot picks. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. What about over here? That's just the way I like it. Thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive kit. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This was different. Thrilling tablet action. I know some nice places where you can just be. Well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. Alex! Come here! I think we got something. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Hmm. 
Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Just so you know, it's extremely illegal. We should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, we're rich, Fliss. We don't have to do it the right way. We were just diving and then found it. So who cares? Uh, let's listen to Fliss about Guys, that. Look, I think we got to listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right- please. I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not- I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for this dive. Generously, we're diving. You're the client. But if anything goes wrong... I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Gonna touch that wreck. Put my hands all over it. Gonna get a bad cut on my leg. Maybe get tetanus, who can say? I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. All right, what do we got? Well, we could look at this. Let's look at more picks, I guess. Let's scroll through these picks. We'll use plain picks. I bet he says that to all, all the girls. Uh, anyway, let's keep looking through pics. I think these have been all the pics. Yeah, I believe so. Clear as the eye can see. No fisher pirates coming yet. Hey. Hey, back. Hey, sis. Mm-hmm. Hey, Connie, how's it going? It's, uh, trips are for relaxing. Oh, work, work, work. I thought we came on this trip for relaxing to the maxim. You've never worked a day in your life. Excuse me. <laughs> what I do is hard work. And hardly working. Yeah, you should see how these rebreathers work if you're planning on diving tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Got it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll work. I'm too happy with our captain at the moment. Um, I just following the rules. She's all right. She's just a bit of a stickler for the rules. The word is bitch. Hey, look. She's not going to be down there with you. She can't stop you from doing shit. Connie, you gotta keep it in your pants around Fliss. Just cool it with all your desperate pickup bullshit. Uh, desperate? Like, I could charm the fish from the sea, sister. Just you wait. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great. I'm gonna kick back and, uh, enjoy the sights for a little while. And by enjoy the sights, I mean I'm gonna ogle our captain like a grade-A creep. Yeah, I got it. Gross. Hey, at least I'm honest. Still gross. All right. Well, I mean, you were sitting right there. I guess you heard all that, so I guess it's ogling time. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Um, let's be empathetic about that. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My sis can be a little... Uh... Intense? <laughs> Uh, that's one way to put it. There are laws here and customs. You gotta respect that. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Um, the wreck diving is my thing. Wreck diving is like my thing. Pretty much an authority back home. Oh yeah. Then why don't you want to follow the rules for unreported wrecks? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Um, but what if I just don't say anything about that? 
Nothing to say? <laughs> well, blow me down. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Do what you want. You're not gonna listen to me anyways. But if you take one thing from that wreck, you're gonna make us all criminals. How did the relationship update? We irritated Fliss about the dive. Can I turn her thing off? Yeah, there we go. Please do not fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. You might want to just let it do its thing. I'm sorry I fondled the machinery. So will he notice that this seem this looks kind of weird? I think this might be bogus. He does notice it. I assume that the pictures are all the same thing, but I guess let's just check. Well, hello. What's this? Yeah, that's the same one. How you feeling? Shouldn't have had that beer. Um... Oh, I won't say anything about it. I'll just stare at you. Okay, that's my cue to beat it and make my moves on Captain Kiss. I just wish we could have stared at each other for a little while. Tanks are ready when you are. Hello, locker. What you got inside of you? Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. Get on you, Alex. This never comes up again, does it? Like, three people so far could look at this. Oh no, we, we put it here this time. That's different. Nothing to say about that. Still vomiting? How are we doing in there? I can't, no, I can't, I guess I can't walk in there. Alright, so he's the only, I think he's the only one who actually did something different with the perfume. Hey. Hello. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Um, let's just stare at her and not say anything. Are those two going in or what? Let's just not say anything. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Well, even though Alex did promise Brad that he would take him for the dive, I guess because Brad is sick because he drank the beer, that didn't happen. I wonder if Brad, if Brad did not drink the beer, I wonder if it would be Brad and Alex diving. Oh, 
good? More or less. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. I mean, we are, but... A souvenir would be cool. She doesn't have to well, act like we are. Would hurt anybody. Or two yeah, tiny things, or... <laughs> Not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. Or like one large thing. Yeah. That shape. That's gotta be it. I mean, technically the entire thing belongs to us. That we found it. Like way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Well, we know where the way in is. Yeah. Conrad said it. The turret. We can get in through there. No tetanus this time. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? <laughs> Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time now. Well, that looks like maybe she's getting the bends, and you know, maybe that's something we just need to do this time. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Say nothing. No. Bad idea. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. Butterfingers. Clumsy me. Not that time either. stupid down here that's it one chance you get that but i do but i do stupid things up there all the time i'm just glad you're okay but don't do that again please you're gonna give me a heart attack foreshadowing because people could die of heart attacks because of gas scare gas Oh bullets, we love we love these. I love these. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. We never actually show Brad these bullets. I don't think we did. Sad because it seemed from what we know, it seems that he loves them. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. A 
Good God. Ugh. 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 He's holding something. And we hallucinate uh, Alex holding this near the end of the game, I think. Wow. What the hell happened here? It's like he died somehow. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? Okay, we're using the knife this time. Oh, it's just, it's so tough. It's so hard to do. Julia, come on! We didn't even have to use the knife. He could just turn the handle. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. I wonder what ways are high. Like, what's number one on the ways to perish? Oh, yeah. Here we go. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I still don't know why we do this. We don't have to do it, I guess. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Okay, you snooze, you lose. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Sorry, I overstepped my bounds. Never mind. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan in ship shape. Aye, aye. That's right, he turned it off before. Uh, I gotta turn it back on. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. What could this be? Maybe I should just walk, go down below and just ignore that it's happening. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Man, I really wanted to go on that dive. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Well, Brad taking the silence in stride. He just go on. He, he just keeps talking. I don't think I opened this before. That's when it, oh no, I, I did. I did see this. I think I did. Why do I keep these around? 
I mean, they just make me see hallucinations. It's, I probably should just take them down. Right, so it looked like Conrad on a on a boat, and Olson was pointing a gun at him. All right, we owe the money. That doesn't really come up again, does it? That Fliss is in debt. She needs to come up with some money. Just, uh, that seems like that's kind of dropped. Hmm. Seems bogus. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? Hey there, how's it hanging? I get it. Busy, busy, busy. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. Okay, whatever. Hey, I just want to have a good time. Don't we all just want to have a good time? Hi, Captain, how's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game set match. Uh-huh. And yeah, we just engaged in ban in banter. Alright, I guess we just have to use the binoculars now. We have unexpected guests. Um Eh, don't mention the divers. Just relax. Do not mention we have people in the water. Uh, what do you think they want? And maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. I mean, maybe it's our beer delivery. that about it's like the last scene almost didn't happen fishing boat from the looks of it guys you gotta keep back we've got divers in the water Got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Let's go. I mean, even if they didn't turn out to be pirates, this would still have been a bad idea. I guess they didn't need the money. Hello? You going on a little brain trip there, Flissy? You're a piece of work, Conrad. 
I'm not all work. I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Well, when you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm. Hashtag wink. Extremely charming. Okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. <laughs> Finally, some resolution on why they're, why the grill exploded. Like the biggest mystery of the game. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry. Conrad's apology goes unaccepted, and the two of them stand in silence as the sun sets down in the horizon. Probably time for a little bit of a break. So, um, coming back in a few minutes as we continue on with the curator's cut of Until Dawn, as we just, you know, just making some different decisions, seeing what happens, seeing things from different perspectives, such as uh, Conrad using too much lighter fluid. And you know, that's all that was happening up here. Be back in a few minutes. Let's continue on. Find out what happened on the dive, and it looks like they're okay. So we did not get, we did not get the choice on um, whether or not they should decompress or not. So I don't know which choice they made. I just had a little trouble firing up the grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. I wouldn't call it well, cool we, stuff. We did not leave it as pristine as we could have. No, no, we didn't wreck it this time. Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Well, he's finding it funny. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Uh, you know I already know them. Brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. We don't really know how she feels in this cut. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss... Strong, forthright, stubborn. Quiet. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. I'm not sure how many of my decisions would, from this point, would come back later. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to think about that. What decisions could I have made at this point that's really going to come back? Like there was a thing about the decompression. There was the bit about whether or not to use the knife. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Uh. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. 
Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Oh, we did show him the bullet. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Hell yeah, I want to check it. Let me get let me at that bullet. I want to see that bullet. Can I ask you why you said no? Okay, so he she did say no. Alice, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking straight. You weren't? Julie, what does that mean? Well, we almost just got ourselves killed and then suddenly out of oh, nowhere. Oh crap, this badge. Conwin Island. I was totally right. I got you. But it I guess I still don't really understand. If it wasn't such a uh, intense situation, would your answer have been any different? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. What aren't you saying? Well, I have a bullet to look at while you t while you two are arguing. But Alex, let's just talk about it when we get home, okay? I really don't want to have this over here. Just want to get that. There we go. Oh yeah, this is it. No, no, he's about to look at the bullet. Brad was finally get to, get to look at a bullet. Distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh. Which one is uh you know, where the magic happens? What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, Beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Alex! Holy crap! Were, were you guys, like, in the plane when it broke? Oh, got out in the nick of time. Skin of our teeth. Well, our skin was almost in a shark's teeth. What? Uh, yeah, didn't I tell you there are sharks around here? Uh, no. Most of them aren't dangerous. Oh, yeah, the, the friendly sharks. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal, okay? Now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Can't wait. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Brad or for Brace and Lee. You got a girlfriend? That's kind of reaching, I think, Conrad. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, I do. I, well, I mean, I, I did. Uh, broke up with her, though. Just too much to handle. Women, right? <laughs> hmm, yeah, women. They exist. You're correct. They definitely exist. Especially the one you just broke up with. That one, for sure. What are you doing, Fliss? What about you? Are you, uh, with anybody? <laughs> uh, no. Not currently. Right here. Yeah, so did we get that after all? Because I try to not get that. Like, I tried to not go press those buttons. It definitely seemed like she did not get that. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Oh, potential bends. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's, uh... When you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. 
Yeah, bad idea, family. The bad right, idea anymore. siblings. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Well, I don't know why we have this. Maybe the plane's destination? But at least the ahead. bends are imminent. It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I guess we have to get that. Otherwise, why do the pirates bring us... I mean, we bump into the ship, right? There was only one missing. But the pirates have to know about the gold. Otherwise, why would they want to get on the ship? So, of course, we have to get that. Middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. The funny thing is now we know it, it actually didn't make a difference. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Come on now, reveal your sources. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here. In the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splay down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, we're sticking with Axe then. So gross. Okay, so who did it? It's gotta be the woman's husband, right? So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door. I feel like the game is not respecting my clear choices to not say anything. Because I, I feel I should be able to direct how this story goes, and the game is not respecting my decisions here. And sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> I would rather there was no screaming. We just were quiet for a bit. <laughs> yeah, he's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. 
We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Kind of looked like he didn't open the door. He was just standing there and it burst open. It looks dramatic. But I'm not sure how he did that. Eh. He had a gun. I like how easily they're able to untie themselves and get the tape off. They do it pretty quick. Hmm. Oh, game, you know I didn't choose anything. Game. Okay, not choosing anything meant that the center person, Alex, got ungagged. Okay, it actually did acknowledge that I was not picking anything. Damn it! Stop it! Fliss! Just get this tape off my face. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. You, know, you always ask the bad news first. I think that I think that's pretty common knowledge. You always ask bad news first. Alex is just in shock. He can't believe what's going on. Nah. Conrad! 
I guess we don't get to save his ear. What's happening? Can you see it? Alex. Hello? We gotta get out of here. <gasps> what are they talking about? Who gives a fuck? I'm gonna kill every one of them. We need to focus on getting ourselves free. Oh, ah, I got it, I got it. Ah, yes, yes, always pack a good cuticle clipper. I think he has a, Does he have his ear? It doesn't seem like his ear is cut. Why didn't you tell me? Wait, wait, no! <gasps> Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Lipstick. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. <sighs> Are you being polite to our unexpected guests? That one guy, he was just talking to Fliss and then he went fucking nuts on me. What the hell could they be talking about? All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Yeah, that's how I thought that went. We completely do not take them by surprise. Fuck. Motherfuckers. and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad. Just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dude, can't you count? What were you thinking? What the hell, guys? Oh, we took we took the perfume. Here. Do some stabbing. 
Stabbing in the neck. Stay back. Keep your eyes open. Oh, I guess that's already done with. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> no, okay. Now we got double double threats. Double stabbing. Think about what you're doing, boy. trying to kill me also. Oh, so much for Conrad. that. Well, I guess staying silent wasn't the best choice uh, for the whole time anyway, but we'd have suffered a tragedy. We're never going to see her get the bends. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goat? It's okay. Oh no! She's not dead! She looked really dead. She took that was a bullet wound to the head. How could we have been so stupid? We're lucky it's not worse. We could have been killed. What were you thinking? It? That's all you fucking got? All right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. <laughs> I like this one. Knows when to keep his mouth shut. 
Sorry, Julia. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. to you. Aren't you gonna say something? Just shut up. Alex is indecisive. And what do you want? Just shut up. Talking to you. <laughs> I don't know why that's the one to make me laugh. Brad, come on. Where are you? We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Yeah, Brad, where are you? There he is. still alive yeah i don't know how things could have been quite different could it i'm i don't know i think you're lying to me <sighs> kind-hearted creature i am i'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come tempted You're going it alone, independent, admirable, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. I, I I did not agree to any uh advice or help, Mr. Curator, sir. Uh, there's that big bandage. Okay. Well, well, let's check out these relationships. Uh no, not nope, not that. I wanted to 
look at you know <laughs> Julia's real mad about just everything involving Alex neutral with Brad neutral with Fliss negative with with Conrad um well that seems like probably enough for tonight um okay so clearly uh different choices have been made and the results are just not they're not they're not really that different conrad has his ear i mean so that's different julia um has a bullet wound on her head that's different Brad has been captured by the pirates, so that didn't happen our first time around. Um, our first time, Brad stayed undetected until he eventually went into the Medan himself and then continued to be undetected the whole time. Uh, like, he never actually got caught. Um, but, of course, due to Alex's quick thinking this time, uh, Brad is now one of the captives. So, an additional captive as we head into the Medan. Um, even though I... I didn't grab that navigator's note when we were underwater. We said we had it anyway. And so we know about the Manchurian gold anyway, because we have to, because that's what drives the plot. And if we didn't find that, then what would that seems like thing, different things would happen. Uh, but no, nothing really different is happening. Just the way that these scenes play out are a little bit different. People being a little bit angrier, angrier at each other. Due to maybe being silent in, in during inappropriate times, um, so you know, I something I'd mentioned to the chat previously is that the only source of tension that this game seems to have is the tension on whether or not you're going to get your characters killed. You know, maybe I shouldn't have been so tense about that. You know, it's clearly. It's harder than it seems to get them killed. Uh, maybe that's going to change later. You know, maybe as we reach the end of the game, it becomes easier to get people killed. Um, so far, though, kind of difficult to actually kill anyone. I thought I, I would, you know, I didn't think that my uh, my actions were going to result in everyone still alive. But Julia is very mad at Alex now, so that's like a, probably the biggest difference in the relations of our of our characters from the first playthrough. Well, anyway, that's it for tonight for Man of Medan. Um, you know, she's going to get the bends at some point. Oh, yeah. get No, that's not what I... Want to take, there we go. Oh yeah, there. Oh, oh man, I'm feeling it. Oh, why did I? Why did I come up so? Why did I come up so fast? Uh, I should have spent should have spent more time decompressing. It's gonna happen at some point. It's gotta happen. So she's got this bullet wound. She she's gonna get the bends. She drank some beer, even though Alex said that's gonna exacerbate it. So here's hoping. Here's hoping we get some bends. Um, and I would assume that's going to be happening next time for more Man of Medan. We are going to continue on with the curator's cut, seeing alternate, uh, pa alternate scenes and making bad decisions and just see if we can just luck our way through or if everyone's going to die. We'll find out. See you next time. <laughs>